So we see the next slide. Here, here. Here. Oh, okay, it's not on. All right. Mm. After so many years, I'm using this. I feel like very kampung. <laughs> all right. You see, okay, let's read a verse in the Bible. Here it says, When God, your God, bring you into the country that you are about to enter and take over, He will clear out superpowers that was there before you, the Hittites, the Hishites, the Amorites, the Canaanites, the Parasites, the Heavisite, and the Jebusite. A lot of side, side, side. Yeah? There's no pesticide. Yeah? <laughs> you know? Here he says, God will give you, it says that when God, your God, brings you into the country, when God brings us into one place, God will give you the strength. And here it says, those seven nations are bigger and stronger than you are. God, your God, will turn them over to you. Wow. These seven giants, which are the seven giants? So, uh, here it says in the Message Bible, it says superpowers. These superpowers are, are bigger and stronger than you. But God's promises tells us that God will turn them over to you and you will conquer them. You must completely destroy them, offering them as a holy destruction to God. Can you see here? Can I? Huh? Okay. Huh? Do you need to off the slide? No, leader. If you're off the slide, you cannot see me. That's a problem. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here it says, you know, God wants us to overcome every giant in our life. We have mountains in our life. We find it so hard to overcome. But Bible says this, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you tell the giant, you tell the mountain to move, the mountain will move. Amen? The mountains will move. If you have, if you have faith has a mustard seed. Have you seen mustard seed? Very small, very tiny. Very tiny mustard seed. Whenever I go to Israel, they will give us mustard seed. Interesting. Master seed is very small. Bible says, if you have faith like a master seed, tell the mountain to move, the mountain will move. Today, if you have faith like a master seed, tell the giant to move, giants will move. It may be bigger than you, it can be stronger than you. I believe God's grace is enough for you today. And next you see, what are the giants? We're going to study one by one. Alamak, can you see it? Can I? Okay. The first giant is Hittite. What does Hittite mean? Hittite means one who is broken, who fears son of terror. The Hittite means one who is broken, who fears and son of terror. Next one, you see, we are not, if we are not careful, then every day we are terrorized with word of condemnation. Church, if you are not careful, if you don't overcome this first um, giant in your life, if this giant every day comes to your life and terrorize you and tell you you are lousy, you are not, you will not overcome, you are you are not, you will not, you will never have a victory li in life, you will you know, you're stupid, you are lousy, and you are this, you are that, word of condemnation, and you will be what has been said. I remember many years ago when I was a teenager. When I was a, I think I shared this before with you. When I was a teenager, 
my friends, I, I was terrorized with this con word of condemnation. They say, you are stupid, you are lousy, you were never successful in life, you are blah, 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 everything. Yeah, and you know what? I grew up as a young boy with inferiority complex. Why? Because word that was spoken against me. Really. They say, you're stupid, you will not, never be successful, you're lousy. I grew up like that. I grew up as a boy, was very timid. I grew up as a young boy, very timid. I have, um, and, 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 and really, I have, I have this inferiority complex. I remember back in 1996, I was in this island called Ambon. In an island called Ambon, a Maluku island. 96. Just imagine when I was 13 years old, the word of condemnation was spoken against me. Uh, word, terror, word, of, uh, 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 word that was spoken against me. Word, of, word, word that doesn't edify. Word that doesn't uh, what, uh, uh, what, uh, build up my faith. But what happened was, it, when I was 13 years old, 1996, one fine day, I remember, I was, play, I was in Indonesia, in this island called Maluku Island. In Maluku Island, there's where a lot of riot happened. They chop people's head. They bring around town. Yes. I was in that island. I was ministering there in 1996. This is what? Almost 30 years ago. Almost, almost. 27 years ago. I was in that island. After playing badminton, coming back from badminton, I was just sitting down, um, waiting for my sweat to dry. While I was waiting, one day the Lord told me this. Matthew, take oil, any oil. It can be cooking oil, it can be uh, uh, virgin oil, it can be any oil. The Lord told me, take this oil and not your head from your head to your toe. Anoint every word of condemnation that was spoken against you will be broken in Jesus' name now. I did that. I did that. This is 27 years ago. But when I was 13 years ago, word of condemnation was spoken against me. When I did that, you know what? I feel, I can see the difference. I feel, I can see there was something, I, I feel delivered with all this word of condemnation. I do not know what is your situation here today. I don't know what you're going through here today. But let me share this with you. This is a word of God that God wants me to share with you. If you think that you've been terrorized with these words, with, with words that doesn't bring edification, word that doesn't bring, that, that word that always condemn you, this is your hour. Amen? Amen? Next. That's what happened to the Israelites. Every day they were terrorized by Goliath and unconsciously they were weak mentally, physically, and most ironically, their faith in God was shaken. You know, when, when, when Goliath was standing, he was spoken fun of the Israelites. He was spoken fun of them. He said, there's nobody can fight him. And lo and behold, God sent someone that God prepared in the wilderness. When he saw Goliath, David said, Goliath is just like a bear. Not teddy bear. Just a bear. I have teared down before. Lion, I teared down their mouth before. So Goliath is just like a, like a teddy bear. I can destroy the Goliath. He was not fearful. Why? Simple. Because God trained him in the wilderness. Hittites will always condemn you. This is the first giant you need to overcome. I'm, I'm going to share with you seven giants. Hopefully and prayerfully, I can finish all these seven giants. If not, then please, I need to have, I need to beg for some time. <laughs> you know, Pastor, uh, can I? I will share with you. Uh, let me finish this because we never know what happened tomorrow. Yeah? If I say it, I will share next time. I don't know. Maybe next time we'll still be there or not. Why? Because we don't know what will happen tomorrow. What happened next time, next week there's a rapture? Then tak uh, tak boleh. Yeah? All right. Next. Terror will cause us to have, to have a terrible fear, phobia, loss of self-confidence, depression, 
being deceived, panic attack, fear of marriage. See, when people say, oh, don't get married. Why? At married, every time you fight, 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 fight. We fight with your husband, we fight with your wife. Hello? Hello? Sounds familiar? So finally, I'm not going to get married. I'm going to be single. Let me tell you this. Husband and wife, just like Tom and Jerry. You agree? They fight, and then they, get, they will be okay. Do you agree with me? I'm, I'm married for 25 years. I know some of you are much, much, much senior. 25 years, I've seen 25 years of marriage. Sometimes, even pastors, sometimes I argue with my wife, and every day we are still good. Sayang mo makan di mana? After fight. Yeah? So, yeah, it's normal. It's normal. But don't make it fighting every day at home. Make, this, make that as your lifestyle. There's something wrong. That we need to pray for you for deliverance. Yeah? But see, terror will cause us to have terrible phobia. When you have been terrorized every day, you will be fearful. You will be living in fear. And this is wrong. Bible says, God has given us spirit of power, love, and sound mind. So Bible has said that God has given us a spirit of power, sound, a, a, a spirit of what? Power, love, and sound mind. So when God has given us power, spirit of power, sound, and go, uh, and, I'm sorry, power, uh, what? God has given us a spirit of power, love, and sound mind. When God gave us a spirit, why must we be fearful? In other words, in the Bible, in the book of John says, perfect love casts out fear. So when God gave us love, why must we be fearful? Because He lives, I can face tomorrow. Because He lives, I can face tomorrow. Because He lives, all fear is gone. Because I know, I know, He holds the future. Life is just the living. The living just because He lives. Yeah? If God lives, why must we be, live in fear? Because Jesus lives in us, we shouldn't be living in fear. There are so many people are living in fear today. Let me ask you, how do you overcome Satan when you see a rat or so you stuck out the You are so terrorized. Yes, not. So, panic attack. This is another thing Satan will bring us bring into our life that uh, it will pull us down, and slowly but surely, it makes us far from God. You know how you know how many of you experienced panic attack before? Can I see your hands? Can I see your raise high? Panic attack. Let me tell you. You know, many years ago, I think this is about easily about 20 years ago, when I just newly, 23 years ago, when I newly came back from Indonesia, I had this panic attack. Panic attack, let me just tell you how it feels. Someone who can't swim, you throw this person in a the, in, in the river and ask him to come back. Wow. You know? I experienced that before. Suddenly you're sleeping, you wake up, so fearful. I experienced this before. You know what the Lord told me? Read Bible. If I was reading five chapters on that day, now the Lord said, double up. Ten chapters. When you begin to read the Word of God, when you, when you begin to pray, panic attack will not have any place in your life. Why? Because Jesus lives in you. Amen? So this is the first giant that we must overcome. The purpose of Hittite is to destroy human life, our belief in God, through this shackles, fear of, fear of terror. Yeah? Fear of fear and terror. The purpose Hittites are placed there 
so that we will have we will have fear and terror. That's why I say the Bible says very clearly, God has given us spirit of power, love, and sound mind. Not spirit of fear. And next we will see. The impact, societal rejection, abnormal, self-defense, hitotized spirit usually attack on emotion. See, this hitotized spirit will attack our emotion. If your emotion has been destructed, it's, it's been affected, your whole system is affected. And suicidal, suicidal thoughts. When people are, people are, when this hitotized spirit come and attack you, you will feel committing suicide. You know, during the pandemic, 2000, 2021, 2021, someone came, someone sent me a message saying, Pastor, I feel like committing suicide today. He feel like just going up to the 14, 14 story building and jump, jump, and jump down. Why people were living in fear? They do not know what will happen. They do not know whether they have a proper job, whether they have proper food to eat, whether they can, whether they have, they have, they can, they can take care of their kids or not. There were so many people were living in fear. But church, let me tell you this today: if you live in fear, Satan will terrorize you, keep on terrorizing you. Today is your day for deliverance. Today is your day for so, so that God will set you free from this hitotized spirit. This is the first giant you need to overcome. And you will have self-defense. Self-defense, or I name it, um, defense mechanism. I remember many years ago, the Lord told me this. You know, when I was, when I was 10, 11 years old, I would go to church. At the same time, I would go to a sick, sick temple. In sick temple, we don't sit down. We just play around. Just play around. We will go around playing. Hardly we sit down and listen to whatever the priest is uh, sharing. Hardly. And I don't know what he'll be sharing. They will be singing. I, can't, I don't even know what song they're singing. You know, I remember there was one time in Sikh temple, we, a group of us were running, were running around. Suddenly, one boy complained to a senior about me. And this senior came to me. Suddenly, he came to me. He slapped me. I was like, what? I was shocked. He slapped me. You know not. Ever since then, that very moment, I built a wall in my life. In other words, defend mechanism. When I was, I, I think I was 11, 10, 11, 12 years old. Ever since then, I built a wall. And that wall was going on with me for years until I was 24, 25, 26 years old. When somebody correct me, I would, I, would, I would defend back. When somebody would tell me something, I would taro him nicely. Why? Because there's that mechani what, defend mechanism you build. And, you are, and that's why people are not teachable. People, they do not want to learn. Why? Because they build a wall. So hit the tight spirit will always make us to, have, to, to, be, to make us to build a self-defense so that we will not be teachable. Next, we will see Gershites. Gershites means spirit or backsliding, clay dwellers, or disposes, disposes. And we will see, love the things of, of, of the world, of this world which are temporarily, or, or, or in other words, materialistic spirit. There are people, those who are, this giant, Geheshites, will make you love the things of this world. Materialistic spirit. Wow. I know some people, they, they will not step into the church if they don't wear an LV bag. Hello? Hello? Holy night, Saturday night? It is December. <laughs> they will not step into the church if they don't carry an LV bag. Everything has to be branded. Shirt has to be. What's, what's the brand? I can't remember. So many. So, what, 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 can you tell me one brand? Uh, Pierre Cardin. No, so. Okay, whatever. What, what, what? Oh, Gucci. 
Okay, Gucci, Bonia, what else? Prada, Versace. Very materialistic here. Whoa. <laughs> no, 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 just joking. Just imagine people will not step into a church if they don't, if they don't carry something that is, people can say, wow. Some ladies, sometimes they will be wearing so many big rings uh, when they worship God, not like this, but like that. <laughs> Why would they show off? Some people have, they suddenly change their to the golden. When they worship, not like that, you let them have. <laughs> Why? Because they're so engrossed with the things of this world. Right? Yeah, why? Because they are, this giant, they can't overcome. Geheshites. Geheshites. Spirit of materialistic spirit. Love the things of, of this world which are temporally. Right? When you die, you think you can bring, bring with you all the Gucci. You go to heaven, you say, Lord, this is my Gucci bag, oh Lord. Nice done. You can't. Right? Lord, this is my LV bag. I bought it from uh, America. Oh, this Prada. I bought it from uh, 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 Joho Premium Outlet. You can't. Right? These are all temporarily. But a lot of people, they, they, got, they got hooked into these things and they think when they have this kind of bags, people look up to them. Seriously. And next, you will see... Um, and the focus is always on yourself, in other words, selfish. Gehishai spirits will always make you focus on yourself. Another word, me, me, and me. Hello? Anybody home? Right? Let's see. Proverbs 30 verse 15 says, The leech has two daughters. First daughter is... What? Huh? Give and give. There are three things that are never satisfied. Four things, four, four, four that are not say it's enough. Bible says the leech has two daughters. First is me, give, give, give. Me, me, me. If you read in different translation, if you read in different English translation, uh, okay, the Bahasa translation says, Silinta uh, punya dua anak perempuan, Silinta punya dua anak perempuan, pertama untukku, kedua untukku. Another word, a leech, a very selfish animal, very selfish. Why? Leech will always say, for me, for me, for me, for me. There are so many Christians today, they come to church, me, 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 me. Right? Me, 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 me. Everything is self-centered. They are so self-centered, so selfish, everything is about themselves. Hello. Don't be like pigs or piggy Christian. I name it. Why? Can't leave his head. Have you seen pig walking like this? Have you seen? Never. Why they are so self-centered? They look down. They look at them. They look down. See, piggy. Don't be a piggy Christian. Always look to themselves. Yeah. The Bible says. Set your mind and keep focus habitually on the things above. This is an Amplified Version Bible. Eh? The heavenly things, not on, the, on, not on things that are on the earth, which have only, what? What? Temporally value. This is what happened to Gehishites. They want you to focus on things of only, sorry, uh, uh, focus on you, you, and you alone. Yeah? Next, Amorites. Amorite means 
highland mountainers or people who live in mountains. What happened? The characteristic of such people like to be famous. Fame and famous. Not fast and furious. But fa fame and furious. Uh, fame and famous. There are so many people in church like to be like that. They try to sing outside Academy Fantasia, fail. They try to go into American Idol, Idol fail. They want to, they, they enter, they, 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 I mean, go into uh, AGT, eh, American Got Talent, fail. Finally, church is the only place that's open for them. They can, they can, they can sing. And that also, they say half a straw voice. So, so, they sing. Why? Because they want people to look at them. Right? They want to be famous. Fame and famous. I know some people, I know some people in church, they fight with their pastors, with their leaders, just because their pastors and leaders are not giving them position to be a worship leader. Preachers, why, why? They look at, they, when, when, when you give people like this, who like fame and famous, you give them preaching, who oh, I tell you, man. They'll be sitting, they'll be talking. They can mesmerize you, but there's no spirit. There's zero so if today you like fast, fast and furious, blood, <laughs> what is fame and famous, please be careful. Please be careful. You know, sometimes, for me, uh, being a pastor, I attend a church. Sometimes they say, oh, Pastor Matthew in the church. Uh, they will ask you, is there anything to speak? If there's no word, why must you speak? I say, there's nothing. It doesn't mean you are a pastor everything or some, every day or something. Well, no. I know somebody in a toilet, he can prophesy for people. In a bus, he can prophesy. Everywhere he goes, he can prophesy for people. I'm a bit, I have a big question mark about people like them. Really? If you like fame and famous, please be careful. Because you are falling into a trap of amorites. Yeah? Next. Arrogant at the level, at, at a high level, to the point that even angels are insecure. Wow. Right? They are so arrogant, even the angels scared of them. Angels will count out to them, no. Seriously. Heat the Amorite spirit, be careful. Always consider themselves more than others. They always think they are better than others. They always say, I'm number one. You lousy, tak boleh pakai punya. People always think like that. Be careful. Be what? Careful. You don't fall into this trap of Amorites. Yeah? Next. There is no submission always feeling that you don't need others. There's no su submission. That's why in marriage life, you face problem. Why husband cannot submit to the wife? His wife cannot submit to the husband. Hello? Children cannot submit to their parents. Fighting. Right? You fight. When you come to church, you have a problem. See, you, go to, you have traveled to all the, all the churches in Saramban. The, the last church you come to is SLA. Here also you create problem. This is the last church. Last church also you create problem in church. Alama Matila. The church is not a problem, but when you come into the church, a lot of problem. You are laughing, I think you know something something happening, eh? Oh. So I'm speaking something very prophetically today. Eh? Lord, help them, Lord. <laughs> Next one, you see. Like to be dominant, always want to, want to, want, oh, sorry, this, maybe there's a sentence. Opinion and, co and command people as they wish, without considering their feeling, feeling and other people's feeling. They always want to lead, want to be a leader. They want to command. They want to dominate. Domin they want to dominate a, com a, 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 com a conversation. 
Have you seen people like this? They're very dominant people. They want to dominate the whole conversation. The moment they come in, they want you to listen. They want this particular person want you to listen to them. But they don't want to listen to you. Hello? Sounds familiar? Hey, this is only number three, you know. I got seven more to go. Hey, I got four more to go. <laughs> Let's see. Provocators. Very arrogant, cruel, cunning. I like to have his name mentioned by people or like to show off. See, uh, people like them, uh, uh, the Amorites, they like people mention their name. If their name is not mentioned, they feel very offended. If their name is not mentioned, they feel, you know, really, sometimes in preaching, you must mention name. Uh, whose name is it? Pastor Moses. Okay, by the way, I, today I have Pastor Moses with me here. We, I know him uh, not long, only 18 years. He was 20 years old when, I, when, I, when we got to know him. Uh, my wife was pastoring a church and he was the member there and my wife discipled him. So Pastor Moses here. Can Moses take Pastor Moses? From Sabah. So, example, if in my preaching, if I didn't mention Pastor Moses' name, he will feel offended. Bale Habis, fighting. Really? But no, he's not that kind of person. Now. I'm just taking an example. Why? Because a more right spirit is such. Very arrogant, cruel. Very arrogant and cruel. You know, many years, I would like to share this. Uh, I think about five years ago, one day my neighbor, she told me this. I came to a house. We were staying, I'm staying in an apartment or condo, I don't know, whatever you call it. I was staying in this place. So this lady, uh, I came to her house. I was talking to her. She told me this. She said, Pastor, I'm so thankful that today my mother is coming to my house. Praise God. But you know what she told me? She said, because my mother is coming to my house. When I was a kid, my mother treated me like an animal. She tied me with a rope. And now my mother is old. She's sick. My mother is coming to my house. This is the best time to take revenge. Yeah. Serious. I'm not joking. You know what I told her? When I heard that, my whole body was shivering. I know this is not right. I said, sister, you need deliverance. You need to forgive your mother. I prayed for her. I lay hand and prayed for her. She was delivered. She was just jumping, scroll, uh, crawling on the, on the floor. I prayed for her. She was delivered. I said, go back, go to your mother's place and tell your mother, Mom, I love you. Mom, I love you. She said, Pastor, never. That has never happened before. Not even once I hold my mother's hand. Hug her, impossible. I said, you need to hug your mom and tell her, I love you. She struggled. Yes, I, I know she struggled. A few weeks later, she went to the mom's house. She hugged the mother. I said, Mom, I love you. The mother was shocked. The mother was shocked. Two months after that, the mom passed away. Just imagine if you are being very cruel, you are keeping bitterness, you have not released that, that person died, you will suffer mentally. Right? Amorites will always make us be cruel. Take revenge on what has happened in the past. I remember this. This, this, this has to be God. No? My sisters, uh, my sisters, I'm the only boy. I have, I have uh, six sisters. We will be talking, we will be, discuss, we will be chatting about when, while we were small, how mother treated us. You know, I remember there was one time my mom treated me very badly. I, I, I don't know what I did. I know something bad. I think I karate my sister's hand. Broke. My mother was so angry with me, she tied me on a tree. Wow. I was screaming, I was screaming, I was screaming. Ah! I was screaming. And my neighbor is my good friend, my childhood friend. He saw me, he was doing this. I was screaming, he was doing this. I was just, I, if I stole, I would like to take, take a stone and throw it at him. And you know what happened? I know my mother did that very clearly. I know. But you know what? 
Not even once I have this thought in my mind that I want to take revenge against my mother. No. We used to discuss, our siblings, we used to sit down and talk how mother treated us. Not even once. But we love our mother like crazy. Seriously. You know why? She is, my mom is a, is a woman who single-handedly brought us up. Educate us. My dad passed away when I was five years old. She single-handedly brought us up. And we have no reason to take revenge against my mom. No, no, no. When you are, when you are stuck with this Amorite spirit, you'll be very cruel. Seriously. You'll be very cruel, cunning. You will provocate things. You will provocate others. Provocate, in other words, batu, batu, batu api. Batu api. You will be the batu api among church members so that you will be split. Really? I've seen that happen. So, Canaanite spirit, Canaanites, meaning people from low land. The desire and the lust of this world are very strong and dominant. So they are, they are, they are very, they, are, they, they like the things of this world again. Yeah? The lustful things of this world. Like to, like, uh, likes to please human more than God. So uh, I know in church, I know many churches, they have VVIP seats. These seats are only for Tansari and Dato. Really? Tansari and Dato. Ordinary member, sorry lah. Sit behind. Why? Churches please God. Uh, please men. More than God. And they have VVIP seat only for those who, who, who give tithes the highest. More. Those who give tithes less, sorry, sit behind. Eh? Double standard. Yeah, yeah, it happened. This has happened in church. Yeah. They are man pleaser, but not God pleaser. They like to please man more than God. Church, there are so many rich people who got offended with me. They were they, they got offended, really. I don't have the gift to offend others. No. But you know why? Because I like to I like to my foundation is Bible. Sometimes they think they have money, they can dictate you as pastor. But sorry. I think Pastor Moses knows. He knows. I'm not, I'm not cheating. He knows some of the people. They think they have money, they can dictate you. I said, sorry, it doesn't work. There was one lady came and told me this, Pastor, um, 10 o'clock service, uh, very difficult to wake up. Uh. Can you change your 11 o'clock for the sake of my family? Uh? Because you know why? Because they give of tithes more. You know, I told her, sorry, I can't. I can't change for, because of you. You have to follow the church, not the church follow you. Isn't that because I changed church? Go ahead. Silicon. Go ahead. I will never please men. Listen to the church. If you, all of you who are sitting here listening to me, if you please men, your life will be in trouble. You need to please God in every areas of your life. God has to be the first and the top priority in your life. I'm not against all rich people. I know some rich people. I know some uh, ex, ex uh, ambassadors, some lieutenant colonel. I know some of them. You know, when they have church services, this is in Indonesia, when they have big, huge, big meetings, they will be the they will be they will be the ushers, they will be they will be collecting offerings. I know some rich people are so humble down to earth. I'm not against rich people, but there are some people who want to do that. They think they have money. Sorry, it doesn't work with me. I remember many years ago, 21 years ago, I was serving in Singapore. Sorry, uh, we have a church. For, I was in Batam, but we have a church in Singapore. And this lady will be driving uh, 20 years ago, uh, Ferrari, Bentley, uh, and, and all, the, all, the, all the branded expensive car. And they will bring you makan in Takashibaya. And they will bring you, and, and some of them would drop me in a in, in a mall and say, Pastor, um, we will come and pick you one and a half hours later, one and a half hour later. Please shop whatever you want. We will come and pay. 
whatever you want. Wow. Sounds good, right? But after you buy, they tell you what to do. Pastor, please, can you lead worship this song? Why? This song, my grandmother loved it so much. This song, my, 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 uh, my late husband loved this song very much. So when you sing in the church, it reminds me of, of, of my late husband. You think what? We are here to re- be a reminder of your hu- late husband. Huh? huh? Seriously. Happen. Hello? And gross with the things that are homosexual, lesbianism, and so on. Canaanites will always like things LGBTQ. Not the Q. After maybe they may add YZ. We don't know. LGBTQ. You know who carries the spirit? Delilah. She was a Canaanite. She came and tamed, uh, who is this? She tamed, who? Samson. She tempted Samson every day. Samson, tell me la, how can you be a strong one? He refused. Finally, he fell into the trap of Delilah. Gone. Gone. Pastor, what am what I'm supposed to finish here? Eh? Huh? Okay, I'll try to make it then forty five. Are you okay? Okay, yeah. Okay, next. You see. The spirit also will split families. Canaanites will split family. Why? When you have another woman outside, you see your wife like are you with me? You see your husband like Dungu. Sorry, yeah? my language. <laughs> I'm not very holy. Why? Because you like other women. Spirit, this spirit was split families. Hello? Yes, man. This spirit was split family. You know, every day, every day, I will say this to my wife. Wo aini. Wow. Man, please hug your wife and say, Wo aini. Can I? Even your wife. Still say, Wo aini. Can on. Hello? Can? Okay, now I ask husband and wife, please stand. Come, husband and wife, stand. Husband and wife, where's, where's your husband, where's your wife? Okay, come, 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 stand, 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 stand. Uh, any uh, husband wife, husband wife, yeah, come. Husband and wife, stand. Where's your wife, brother? She needs to come here, you go, go or you go to look for her. Behind, you go behind, look for her. Come. Cannot, cannot far, far one, must be near. Ah, come, 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 come. Eh, mana suaminya? Nah, panggil, panggil, panggil. Nah. Apa? Oh, Tuhan, ampuni dia, Tuhan. Come. Come, husband, wife. Now, I want you to do this. Look at your wife. Eye to eye contact. <laughs> come, 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 come. Eye to eye contact. Tell her, darling, I love you. Wow. Come, 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 come. Let's do it. I, I, I'll, I'll come down here. I want to, I want to listen. Come. Show you. Ah, say what? <laughs> wow. Fairly hot. Oh. Come, 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 come. Wow, very romantic, huh? Come, 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 next, next, next. Woo! Come. 
Hack, hack, hack. Okay, you must hack also, no? Cannot just say, darling, I love you. Huh? Must hack. Come, 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 hack. More than that, you can do it at home. Okay. See, the spirit of the Canaanites will split families. That's why families have to be intact. Amen? Families have to be intact. Parasite and hevitite, not pesticide. Parasite means signifies a village. Hevitite means wicked or wickedness. What does it mean? Low self-esteem, spiritually paralyzed. You see, when you look down at yourself, when you say, I'm lousy, I tak person, I'm stupid, I'm this, I'm that, you will have self-esteem, low self-esteem. And spiritually, you will be paralyzed. Yes, you are walking physically, you are fit, nothing wrong with your health, you are fine, but spiritually, inside you, you are paralyzed. You can't do anything. It's like Satan. You, are, you know Satan? You want to fight with Satan. No energy, like, boom, you can't. Just like, heal me. You can't hit. Why? Because of this parasite and heavy type spirit. Low esteem. You think I can't do it. Others are better than me. Yeah? People who are affected by this spirit, by this spirit usually feel useless, insignificant, and have no value. That's what you think. You say, I got no value. Who am I? Nobody. Yeah? Nobody. Self-pity. You know, I was struggling with this. I was struggling with this. I remember in the 90s, sorry, late 80s, early 90s, there was a church in, in, in KL. They have eight hours of service. Worship is four hours. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to mention the name of the church, but if you, know, if you can find out, it's up to you. Yeah? Late 90s, Early 80s, there was, one, there was a church, they have eight hours of service. People used to talk about the church. So I was very curious, as a teenager, about to reach 20, I went to the church. So I went to the church, I went to a Bahasa service. I saw the church, huge. A lot of people attended the Bahasa service. As I told you, I grew up as a young boy full of low self-esteem, yeah, low self-esteem, I feel uh, lousy, I feel condemned, I feel mentally I was paralyzed, really, because the word people spoken against me. I attended, I attended the church service, and there was this lady preaching. There was this lady preaching. She was an air stewardess. She came to me, she prophesied over me, and she said this, she said, I grew up in Kampung. I do not know what it means by taking flight, but today I've been traveling to nations. Nations. She told me this. She said, you will be traveling to nations. Nations. She told me this. When she prophesied, I said, nations. My family is like that. How come? But you know what? Last week I was talking to a lady. We are now serving together. I was talking to her, I told her this. I said, remember the prophecy you prophesied? She was shocked. She said, yes. But you know what? By the grace of God, He has brought me to nations. If I were to believe Satan's lie, I would still stay put in Kajang. I grew up in Kajang. By the grace of God, He has brought me to places where I never thought, I never imagined that I'd be going. Church, do not be deceived by Satan. Another, another thing is, do not have self-pity. Oh, self-pity, who am I? Nobody. I'm from uh, where? I'm from uh, one kampung deep inside the jungle. 
yeah? Nobody, this and that. Don't, don't look at yourself. Don't self-pity yourself. Yeah? Next, Jebusites. Trodden, underfoot. The down trampler, treacherous. What? The character of Jebusites are negativity, discouragement, rejection, and intimidation. So what happened Jebusite? They feel every time negative, 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 negative. Have you seen anybody speaking negative words? Coming to church, Bible verse, I, I cannot laugh. This is not for me. This is for the pastor. When they talk about lady who was, who was healed, uh, she has blood issue for 12 years, uh, yeah, that is not for us. That is for the lady only. Always negative. Always negative. Church, listen here. If you are negative today, you always speak word of negative, come, I will pray for you, that God will deliver you. Because this is the word for you today. You are, you are here not by coincidence. And I'm preaching here not by coincidence. This is the word for you. Don't always think negative. Amen. Discouragement, rejection. Always like to discourage. We feel we are living in discouragement. You know, there was, there was one pastor who led me to Christ, led me to Christ back in 1983. He led me to Christ. I think it was early 83 or it was beginning of 83 because I got baptized on 25, 25 December 1983. So I remember this pastor, this pastor who led me to Christ, I just felt led to call him one day. I called, I said, Pastor, how are you doing? He asked me, he said, why are you calling me? You're doing MLM. Ah? I said, no, 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 not MLM. I just feel led to call you. And he was telling me a lot of things that's negative, negative, negative. He was so bitter. Listen to you. If pastor can fall into that trap, what more members? Right? What more people are you and I? Church, be careful. Jebusite will always make you feel rejected. Jebusite will always intimidate you. Jebusite will always make you feel negative. Jebusite will always make you feel you're not valuable. You're not valuable. Yes, I'm fat. I'm black. Curly hair. But I'm loved by the Lord. How about you? Hello? How about you? Holy night, silent night? <laughs> you are loved by the Lord. That's why Bible says, David say, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Do not fall into Jebusite's tribe, uh, trap. Next one. Always feel... Always feel not much different than trash. Trash. You just feel like I'm a trash. Sampa. I'm just a sampa. Feeling useless. Always feel himself trampled by people. You always think that people always have to step you. Yeah? You feel lousy. You feel I'm, a, I'm just a trash living in Sramban. Hello? If you're trash, you've been thrown in a, in, a, in a rubbish foot long ago. But why are you sitting here? Because you're not a trash. Hello? Amen? Next. This way, this giant works is to make people feel disappointed, rejected, hopeless, and life is always down, never been up. Jebusite will always make you feel that you are rejected, you are lousy, life is always down, you will never feel going up. Hello? Right? Silent night, holy night. What's next? Win over your giant. You must completely destroy them. Completely. Listen here, completely. You know what happened one day? This is five years ago. There's a, there was a chef in China. This chef in China, he cooked cobra snake. Cobra snake, he was, he was, so he, was he, he cut the head, put on the side. He was cutting the, the, the body. Then he put on plate. Then he took the head. While he was holding the head, the, the, 
they were still alive, the cobra snake bite him, the chef died. Chef died. Even they chopped the head, the, even they chopped the head, the cobra snake still alive. Uh, the chef bite him, uh, sorry, the, the chef bite him. The cobra bite the, the, the chef and died. Died. You know what happened? When we think we already chopped the head, victory is on our side. Not yet. Until you crush it, then victory is on your side. Amen? I know what I mean by clean, killing snakes because I grew up killing a lot of cobra. I live in an area there are so many snakes. I know at night, by 10, 11, 12 o'clock, when my mom would scream my name, call me, I, need, I know I, I know I keep a stick, I would need to come and smash the cobra snake. Really? You know what? You must completely, Bible says, completely destroy them. You will see a breakthrough in your life. God will give us in, His inheritance. See, uh, the same verse in Deuteronomy is repeated in Acts. Then He destroys seven nations in Canaan and give them, give their lands to the Israelite Hassan. Hassan? Inheritance. These seven nations are obstacles for us to reach the destiny God has set for us. These seven nations are what? Obstacle for God to use us. If you don't overcome these seven nations, if you don't overcome them, you will not reach your destiny. You will not reach your destiny. Today, if you want to overcome these seven nations, you need to be open and transparent before God. Amen? You need to be open and transparent before God. So Lord, please help me to overcome this seven giant in my life. It may look, it may seem impossible, but I believe the grace of God is enough for me to go through and to become an overcomer. Amen? Come, let us just close our eyes and worship God. Pastor Moses, will you me? Jesus. The rest of you can sit down. Musicians, you can sit down. Yeah. Only the Pastor Moses will play music. Just play. Church, meditate whatever I have shared with you. Recall back if there's any giants, these giants that in your life that you find it so hard to overcome, ask for the grace of God. His grace is sufficient enough for you. Amen. Let's bow down our head, close our eyes, and just worship God. She is to pleasing you, pleasing you. That is what I always want to do. Is to pleasing you, pleasing you. That is all I really want to do. All of us, eye closed, head bowed, worship God, meditate upon the word I have brought to you. I just shared. If you think you're struggling with a giant today, ask God to give you the grace. I'm deeply convinced that God will give us the grace to overcome so that we will be a victorious person. Shikarabatakara Banyana Kanu 
Sedangkanmu Hanya itu kerinduanku Menyenangkanmu Senangkan hatimu Hanya itu kerinduanku Is to pleasing you This song is about pleasing God, pleasing Him in every areas of our life. We want to please God. How can we please Him if this giant is still, we are still carrying this giant in our life? This giant, we are still entangling with this giant. Today, allow God to set you free. Allow, allow God to touch you. Allow God to do a miracle in your life. Today is your breakthrough, breakthrough day. Today is the day that God will deliver you. Just like He delivered the sons of Israel, God will deliver us so that we will enter into the promised land and we will walk in the destiny that God has set for us. He's to pleasing you, pleasing you. That is all I really want to do. He's to pleasing you, please. Church, if you feel that whatever I have shared this on the seven giant, it may not be in seven, seven, maybe it may not be all the seven giant that you are in. It may be one, it may be two, it may be three, it may be only one. Today, if you want God to deliver you, please stand wherever you are. Allow me to pray for you. Shikiriandara bara 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 bashanda Horiandara bara 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 All of you who are standing raise your hands When you raise your hands is an act of surrender So Lord I surrender to you and to you alone Shikana bara 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 Spirit of God, touch. Spirit of God, touch, Lord. Spirit of God, touch, Lord. Spirit of God, touch your people, Lord. Touch your people, Father, right now. Lord, you make your people victorious in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, of God. They are victorious people. They are victorious people, of God. They are victorious people. Lord, you have not given us spirit of, spirit of timid. God has given us spirit of power, love, and sound mind. Not spirit of timid. Not spirit of fear. Today, we want to declare that we have the spirit of power, love, and sound mind. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. 
We are no longer living in the bondage of condemnation. But we are free in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord, continue to touch your people. Continue to minister to them. Church, believe me, you are here not by coincidence. God is touching you. God is delivering to you, delivering you today. Kurabata karabaraba karyanda rabaraba baryanda. Horabata karaba sele de 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 Touch your Lord, touch your people, Lord, touch your people. Yes, Lord, set them free. Set them free, Jesus' name. Horabata karabaraba. Father, we are not living in, 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 in bondage. We are not living, Lord. We, we, we do not want to be trapped by Satan's lie. We do not want to leave what Satan has been lying to us all this while. Lord, come. Touch our mind. Touch our mind, Father, Lord. Renew us once again in Yeshua's name. Come renew us once again, God. Come renew us once again. A body, soul, and spirit. Renew us once again, God. And today, we want to declare to the principal principalities of this air that we have victory in Jesus. There's no more condemnation. There's only victory. We sealed our prayer. And we sealed everyone who are here and listening to this to this preaching sermon today lord i pray in your way you have set them free in yeshua's name we pray amen friends and sisters yes praise the lord for a wonderful message let's give an acclaim to god hallelujah those who need prayer, for personal prayer, any other prayer, you can come for uh, Pastor Matthew. He will be pray for us. Otherwise, may the love of God, the grace of Christ, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us. Lord, bless us with the blessed Sabbath. Hallelujah. Bless us with your shalom, Father. Hallelujah. We commit each one into your hands, Lord. For next one week, Lord, your, your Holy Spirit guide them, lead them, and, and mold them to be a person, to be the things that they, you want them to be. In Jesus' mighty name, we ask and pray. May God say, Amen, Amen. Come forward, those who we pray for. Otherwise, God bless you. There's some uh, refreshment there for you to fellowship among each other. Amen. God bless all of us. <laughs>